Hello, hello everybody. Let's see if I can. I look crooked a little. Let me see if I can get a little better view. All right. Um, let me just check this. Let's see here. Uh, hello, hi Sharon. How are you? I am going to um just put this here. Hello everybody. It's been a long time since I've been live <laughs> and we were on vacation last week. Um, we were, who knows, let's see. Um, I've been not here, I know that. Um, not that we've been anywhere crazy, but I was trying to figure out how to share that. I'm not really sure. Um, Anyway, hello, I'm back. I thought we um, could do some crafting because it's been a minute since I've been live and I miss it. And so there's a lot going on, um, all with like getting the kids back to school and deciding what we're gonna do. I don't know. Um, I even created a group on Facebook for mamas to like share ideas and thoughts and things and thought that might help and I don't know if it is, <laughs> but um, we'll see. I have a couple more weeks before we have to decide anything and then they've extended the um, restart date um, so or back to school date, whatever you want to call it. So it's interesting and so that has occupied my mind the last few days and I'm just like okay enough I'm ready to get back to crafting and I'm ready to make some fun things and share it with you guys so um, one of the things that I was let's see let me put that oh sorry so one of the things I don't know if I can see comments See. Okay, one of the things I went to um, Michael's while we were on vacation and I was kind of tooling around the aisles. They have a lot of fall that's starting to come out. They have a lot of um, things for fall coming like in a lot of stores. If you've been in Hobby Lobby, if you've been in Dollar Tree even, they have fall out. And a couple of weeks ago, I would tell you I wasn't ready. I'm still not ready, but I'm starting to think about some fall things and things that are fun. I think I have like schmear. I don't know what's going on there. Um, so anyway, I'm excited to think about fall, but I'm not ready to decorate for fall or do any fall crafting. I'm still in summertime land. So I was in Michael's and I found, I've, I saw these things at the start of summer and they have like an ice cream one. They, and they're birdhouses, okay? Um, they have a ton of these in different, different varieties. And this, little thing it's a thing that you paint or whatever it's a birdhouse um retails for 15 dollars, which is not bad at all but they have them all on clearance now from summer ending because they're bringing in all the fall and i picked it up for like less than four dollars so i thought it would be fun to decorate this with you guys and just kind of show you how you don't really have to come up with a craft. If you kind of want to be crafter, you kind of want to decorate, you can actually um, find something like this from Michaels and create it or decorate it and make it your own. And since we, oh, since we um, just took our first family camping trip, um, we went to Disney's Fort Wilderness. All the social distancing and all that was in place. We rented a camper. We don't own a camper, but we rented a camper and had the best time there. It was good to get out and about and just be somewhere different. And so I thought how fun while um, I took a day of shopping, how fun would it be to make a little camper? Kind of like to like 
you know, um, make a memory out of it or something like that. But I don't want it to be super sunshine, summer theme, and I don't want it to be one specific holiday in general because it might be fun to leave it out. And you don't camp just in the summer, you camp in the fall. Um, you camp all year round. So I know there's a lot of camper people out there. And so I'm gonna try and make this just a fun camper, not a specific season, which normally when I craft live, I'm showing you something for a holiday or a season. So this one's just gonna be a general, 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 all around cute thing, okay? So this is what we're gonna be making today. And it is a um, actual birdhouse. And you hang it like on a birdhouse hook. But I like home decor, so what I'm gonna do is actually turn it into something that sits on a shelf, or what they would say is a shelf sitter. Um, so I'm gonna cut my little string off here because it's in my way. And I don't think I can, like, I might be able to, yeah, I can kind of push it down. Um, there, now it's nice and smooth and then I thought it would be fun to peel this little sticker off to kind of paint and mod podge different scrapbook paper um, that sort of thing on here so that's what I'm going to start with um, and I have a few different um, scrapbook papers that I picked up this one is kind of a it's leaning towards like the new or the folly colors, but it's not. It's still got some bright pinks in it. And so I thought this would be cute, like to kind of line the top of the camper, if that makes sense. Um, and then kind of paint coordinating with it. I also have this cute little, it's like a gray, um, like aluminum paper. Uh, print and then I have a pinkish wood grain like a shiplap with some pink tones and some beige tones and I really thought this might be cute as well um, I don't really know so I thought we could do this together and maybe um, if you're watching you can show give me some ideas of what you think but I'm really 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 digging this one and I actually think that this paper came from Hobby Lobby um, if you're looking to get like a floral, that's this. This is just gorgeous. I just fell in love with it. Or if you are um, looking to actually get this specific camper, this came from Michael's. This came from Hobby Lobby, okay? Because you know I got to go to the stores, <laughs> the craft stores, at least like every couple weeks, okay? So I am going to try and, um, let's see, I don't know that I have a complete amount to do this and I got an idea just now doing that so what I'm gonna do is just try and lay this down um, and mark with my pencil which I don't oh I do have one um, right here in my little drawer um, just so I can see how much I need to kind of cut off here I'm gonna line it up really good so you guys tell me, do any of you go camping or have you been camping? Do you have a camper? Like, it's kind of like a family um, thing that my family just did for the first time. Well, it's not our exact first time. We've camped with friends before, but it was just, you know, we rented the camper. And so it's something that we're like trying on to see if we want to do more um, in the future. So all I did there was draw like a line and it's not perfectly straight on my paper and I just kind of I don't know if you saw that but I just kind of rolled it so I could get about what the paper is and it kind of <laughs> curves a little bit but I'm going to try and just cut this paper it is so beautiful I'm going to kind of just cut it where I think um it needs to go and then just kind of gauge it from there so there's that, and I will save that probably for another project. So I'm gonna try and do this where you guys can see the front. Now you can see, look, it doesn't quite go all the way to the back, but if you have been camping and you've looked at different campers, you know that they have like a different, sometimes they're painted like a cute little design. So I'm thinking, what if I put the, the metal back here with it 
Do you think that that would be cute? You guys give me a comment and let me know. I can't tell if, um, I can't really see if there's comments happening there. Um, but hey, Jenny, hey, Jody, I see you guys. Hi, hope you're doing good. So, what do you think? Um, maybe the metal on the back, you think that's cute? You guys leave a comment and let me know. So while you're looking at that, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to paint the front of the camper in like a teal color, um, just to kind of maybe bring it to life. But if you look in this paper at the teal, it's kind of a grainy teal. So I think I'm gonna actually mix a few of these together just to kind of help the color be a little bit closer to my paper. Um, if I can get my paint out. And I'm just using this um, folk art paint. It's in a set that I got. Um, I believe I got it from either Walmart or one of the craft stores. And so I'm putting that teal color that came in the kit and then this little blue Calypso sky color. And I'm going to just kind of mix them together. Let me show you right there. See that, how it's like two of them together? And let me see here. I might need a different brush for this. Let me get a bigger one out of here. I have this um, bin from my dream box, which they had a huge sale here recently. Um, I shared on my Instagram stories. So what do we think? That's a cute color that kind of goes, oh, goes a little bit there with that. So this is what I think I'm going to paint the base of my camper here. And I'm not, you know, too concerned about it being one theme or another. Um, I think it will be fine if it's, you know, all year round or a cute like feminine type of camper. This brush that I picked though is not the best brush um, that I have chosen, but we're gonna do my best here um, because I'm kind of starting to paint. <laughs> I'm painting part of the window, um, but that's okay. It's gonna be all right, I'm gonna make it work. So the reason I decided to paint this part first was so the paint could be dry while I glue on the paper on the top. And I just think having that floral accent on the top would be kind of like a nice little touch to the camper. And I'm planning to sit this on a shelf. I don't have like a camping theme or anything like that anywhere in my home. I do have like some summertime themes and like I have the ice cream theme on my coffee bar, but I just thought this would be a cute little piece um, to have. You can even get a couple of these since they're on clearance right now. You can get a couple of these um, and paint them with your kids. They would be a really fun, cute little craft, but um, I just kind of wanted to make a cute little decor piece. And this is actually a birdhouse, so you can do something completely different. Now, I pulled out a purple color um, paint. And I'm really, look you guys, I'm really getting it all on the window and the door because I have a really bad paintbrush. And so I just pulled one out of my stash. It's not the best paintbrush, but I'm just gonna go with it and I'll go back and clean up those areas around the door, okay? And I'm just telling you that because if you start a project and you're like, ah, oh, I don't have the right stuff or I don't have, you know, whatever, it's, it's fine. Just use what you have because the thing is, is with home decor and like crafting, especially when you're creating something from your home, you know, and you may not have everything that you desire to like put it together, but try to make it your own anyways, because we could all go to Hobby Lobby. We can all go to Michael's and buy the same picture and buy the same piece of art. But what makes our homes unique is the fact that we created something different, you know? So just keep that in mind, like, oh, if you find yourself with that situation. Okay, so let me clean that a little bit. So for the um, 
for the door, you can see that this is, um, like I said, it's a birdhouse. It has a little bird perch here, and I really don't like that. I mean, because I'm not going to use it as a birdhouse. So I'm going to try to get this. I should have got it off before I started. Um, I'm going to try and get that little wooden dowel out of there. I don't know if I can. It's kind of hot glued in there. Let's see if I can get it out with my scissor. And these are, <laughs> this is a Dollar Tree pair of scissors, guys. Okay, so I'm just, <laughs> I'm just taking it off. Now you can totally keep it as a birdhouse if that's what you want to do. Oh, look, that came out pretty nice. See, it's not perfect, but um, you can totally uh, keep it as a birdhouse and hang it outside. I just don't, I want to enjoy it. So I want it on the inside and we actually have like metal birdhouses outside for the birds. So I'm not, not thinking of the birds, but <laughs> for this camper, it's so cute. I just kind of want to have something to kind of tribute our little recent vacation together. So I think for the door, what I'm going to do is paint it purple to kind of bring in the purple colors from here and maybe mix a little pink into that just to see what shade I kind of get out of it. This pink, I have used a ton of it, so I don't have very much left, but here we go. I'm just gonna give you an idea what I did. There's a little bit of pink in there with the purple and it might just, yeah, it's gonna lighten up that purple a little bit, not too much, because it is more purple than anything. And then what I'm going to do is just paint my little door real smooth um, and try to clean up those edges from where I, and I'm just using another little brush that I had. Hi Janice, hi Caroline, how are you guys doing? Hope you're doing good. Hope everybody is well. Okay, so I'm just painting my door. Oh, I got a little smear there. Oh, well, it's gonna be okay, right? It's gonna be fine. Um, I haven't painted a wood project in a while, so that's that. Okay, so I have got my door that's purple here. It's kind of looking a little funky and it's a little bit girly, but that's okay. Like. You know, it's what we like. You could totally paint one of these in a farmhouse theme. And I actually have like another um, craft blogger friend. She just recently purchased a uh, camper. And on her like Instagram, she went through like the last few weeks showing how she completely did it over in the farmhouse style. And she did it on a budget. She did it using like all Dollar Tree. And I thought, how cool would that be to find like an older camper and you know redo the interior has anyone ever done that i've seen that like so then i started poking around i started looking at you know google and different places on social media and typing in campers and seeing what's out there like what people have done and there's like a whole camping community of camper life people out there so i think it's kind of cool um i like it it's obviously not the same as being in your house but you know, it was very fun to do for almost a week. And um, of course, our kids absolutely loved it. And since we were at Disney, you know how Disney is. They make it better. Now, when we were there, they weren't open yet. So there was, you know, like the parks weren't open yet. So there was a lot of, um, like, not a lot of people there. So it was nice and quiet. I can't imagine what it would be like fully 100% occupancy. That might not be as fun. So I'm kind of glad we went when we went um, because now if you live in Florida, you guys know that the parks are opening back up and it's craziness there. But the beauty of it being in a campground is that you're like socially distant. So that works in our favor, right? Okay, so I'm finishing up my little door and you guys will have to tell me, what do you think? Are we looking kind of cutesy? Would you put this in your home or is it too bright? You could totally get one of these, like I said, and put it in a um, 
farmhouse theme, like black, white, gray. Usually when I do home decor, I kind of do that theme, but I just thought it would be kind of fun for something different. So now I need to pick a color for the, um, the windows. You can see on the teal, I kind of, kind of went over on that teal on the window. Maybe a white color. And do you guys think that I should paint the back of this? You know, like paint the back? Probably, right? I could put like our name there with a decal, like the dashers or, what do you think? Leave me a comment, tell me down below. What would you do? Um, maybe I should paint this gray the windows to kind of like mute it down or maybe a white color. I don't know if white is going to cover up the teal that I messed up on, but it might, I don't know, we'll see. We will see, we'll try gray. See what happens there. See what we have going on. Um, I have a couple different things that are on my mind I want to share with you guys that I have coming up for Crafty Life Mom, but I can't yet. <laughs> so I will have to hold that for another time. But those things are projects that I'm working on and like videos that I'm making that are going to be for the fall season. And um, it's not ready. It's not my thing. Like I've been asked to be a part of some things. So because of that, I'm not allowed to share it just yet. I don't, I don't think. I probably could, but just, I'm just saying, stick around because I have some really cool things that I'm gonna be a part of coming up for the um, fall and especially like Christmas and holiday season. And all I wanna do is just talk about that, but I can't because it's not time yet. But I think it's gonna be really fun. I have something really cool for you guys coming out and I think you'll like it. Another thing that I am working on um, that, is mine as you know that I can share is that um, I have some course stuff that's coming up where I teach you how to use your Cricut and silhouette and I'm curious because I feel like some of the people that follow me here are not really big on Cricut or silhouette like you don't own one so that's something you would not ever really do and um, I don't know if that's something I should put here or just leave it like through my actual website, but um, I'd be curious to know. So that if is you, then let me know. Like, do you have a Cricut? Do you have a silhouette? Do you know how to use it or do you need help using it? And are you looking to get one, but you're just kind of intimidated by getting one? So you're just like, man, I'm not gonna do it. Let's see, let's see. Janice, you said, I can see you bling bling the heck out of it. <laughs> The camper, are you talking about me bringing out this camper or like a camper if I was to get one? Um, I'm not a big bling blingy girl though, am I? Is that how you see me maybe? I don't know. I mean, I like the flowers and all the feminine stuff, but I, I don't think that I would have like rhinestones everywhere. That's what I think of when you say bling bling. Like I think of the rhinestones, you know, like a rhinestone chandeliers and cups and things like Super glam, maybe a little glam, maybe a little bling. I could totally do that, maybe. I'm trying to convince Casey, right? We need to find a camper that is older, you know, like one that nobody really wants, so the price is good, and then I can go to town, like, fixing it up. I would totally document that and probably go live sharing that. I don't know if you can have that in our neighborhood where we live, but do it I would totally do it I think it would be fun plus it's like a place that you're gonna be having memories in right I mean I enjoyed our camping trip it's definitely a memory I will not forget and I wouldn't mind obviously creating more of those so okay here's my windows looky look what do we think does it look good right now oh what do you say hi Stephanie it says I bought a silhouette and I have not used it yet oh what you've got to use it it's too overwhelming. No, you need to talk to me. I love to help people use their silhouette, okay? I have I have three silhouettes myself. Look, I even have one right here. I have the four. Which one do you have, Stephanie? Tell me which one do you have. Um, 
This one sits on my on my craft desk every day, and I'm doing something for either myself or someone else. Usually, it's someone else <laughs> every day. Like this thing, I it's like the cord is plugged up right now, and I can turn it on if I wanted to to cut something. I'd have to kind of clear my mess right here, but you know, I use it every day, like labeling stuff. For your pantry like there's tons of home decor stuff that you can do with it so you've got to break it out of the box do not be scared just message me i'm totally happy to help you um use your silhouette machine okay so what i want to do next is oh here it is black sorry i had to step away for a second i'm gonna paint the tires black or the wheels i guess right here and I think let's see let me I'm gonna do a gray center first and then go back with my black and do the black around it so it looks like a tire wall or a tire rim you know what I'm talking about I know, I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I have seen where people have like painted those um, different kinds of door hangers and they paint them with like cute, oh, I hear my dog barking. Sorry if you guys hear that. Um, where they have like cute little hanger, door hangers. They're like, you know, you guys have seen them. I'm sure they have like polka dots on them and they decorate like a cross or they decorate, um, Oh, geez, like they have different ones at Easter time. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about where they have um, all kinds of things that you can paint and do? So I ordered one, and I'm going to paint that one live with you because this is like a test run to see if I can really paint good. But I'm definitely better at the other kind of crafts. But I like the painting um, aspect of some things. Like I like the painted look, I guess is what I'm going for. Stephanie, I have so many dreams for it, but it's, do not be scared, girl. You've just got to break that thing out and use it. Oh, you, listen, promise me you're going to message me and tell me you, what, what your first fear is. At least, if anything, get it out of the box and plug it in. That's the goal. Just don't be afraid. It's a machine, right? It's no different than using, um, oh, I hear my son. He's like not happy whining you hear that sorry mom life um but yes get it out of the box plug it in it's no different than some buttons on a microwave in fact i think it's probably easier than a microwave and i'm guessing here that it's the software that scares you or that you know you have a fear of maybe and it's it's super easy that's what i'm gonna do though i'm creating a course i'm going to have a version of it where you can um Basically set up your silhouette machine or your Cricut machine and like at least make the first cut and Get started with it and I'm gonna have a course for that's gonna be like a couple little videos nothing too long Where you can just get you know the basics and get started cutting and I'm gonna offer it for free um, Which is a lot because it takes a lot of work into it and then I'm going to have an upgraded version where you can purchase that and get like this specific project or this specific project and, and include like free files and designs for it. So stick around for that because I'm working on that right now and I am trying, trying, trying to finish um, or trying, trying, trying to get that done. Okay, so before I know I have not painted the back right now because um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do, I will probably match it to the front. I guess I could go ahead and paint it now while we're chatting. What other questions do you have about it? Let's see. Anybody else have any questions with? Hey, Amanda, I see you there. <coughs> hey, friend. She came over. Um, <coughs> came over like, what, two days ago? I don't know what day it is. Um, it's Wednesday. But anyway, um, and then we did some shirts for her because her kiddos, they're trying out for dance. I think they have dance, dance tryouts or something like that coming up for the school year. Oh, look what I did. I put my finger in it. Got to be careful. Um, 
Anyway, they wanted some cute shirts that said, you know, we're seniors and we're awesome. Look at us. And so we put some shirts together for her. And we did like six shirts. We visited and chatted. But just so you know, Stephanie, we did six shirts in less than a couple hours. It probably, by myself, would have taken an hour or so to do that many. But that's not bad. And, you know, if you really get into it, you can sell your stuff to people. And they'll pay you just to make it for them. But I feel like everyone needs a silhouette machine like you need a microwave, right? <laughs> you need to be able to, especially if you're a mom, like your kids are going to be, um, you know, in school doing projects. Well, maybe not this year, but you know what I mean. And there's always going to be something that needs a label or a name on it. Or you're going to need, you know, a t-shirt because you did that one thing and you didn't buy the t-shirt. You made your own. So definitely get it out of the box, girl. Write me if you have questions, because I love to help people get their, um, their craft on, at least. I'm even going to have a Facebook group for it. I'm just trying to name the thing. I don't know what I'm going to call it, since it's going to help people with both Cricut and Silhouette. I can't just say Cricut Help or Silhouette Help. It's going to have both, because I use both. I have four machines, and I use both of them. Um, for different projects. In fact, I had a meeting wasn't a meeting me, but I had a phone call the other day um, with a company that sells accessories and stuff for Cricut and Silhouette. And she and I had an in-depth conversation about all the different machines. And there's some things I'm going to share with you guys coming up with that too. It's going to be really fun. So I can't wait for that. I'm ready. I'm ready for the fall crafting to begin when it's like the time of year that I craft the most. For some reason, when the weather cools just a little bit, especially in Florida, it doesn't cool much. There is something about, I just want to make all the things. What is it? What did you say, Steph? Uh, Joshua wants to learn how to do the silhouette machine, the Cricut and silhouette machine. Make like shirts and say, he totally should. He should. Um, it's not just for girls. Okay, so let me go back to my black here, my little gray on my wheel. And then we will get to mod podging, mod podging, I can talk right, the, um, the paper point of it. So, let's see, I gotta be quiet while I have a steady hand, so I'm sorry if I'm a little quiet. Okay, let's see, do, do, do. We just kind of want the front to match. I think what I might do is come back with a decal or something. And I can cut one here if you guys want to see that too. If you want to hang out with me, I'll be here. Okay, so there's my back. And what do you think? Like a decal that says like the dashers. So when you see this like sitting on a shelf, like it doesn't matter what angle it's at. It's got a pretty decorative side to it. Um... So this is the like front little hitch part of it. What do you think? I don't know. Um, what color do you think I should paint this? Do you think I should paint this? Or maybe put some paper on it? What's your thoughts? Tell me in the comments. What, should, what would you do? Would you put paper or paint? What I'm gonna do though is start with my, look how cute this is going to look. Do you guys see this? What in my land? Look at that. That is so cute. Okay, wait. Maybe I should do it. You see that? Can you just see that sitting on a shelf? Look how cute that floral paper gives this interest. Just right there. Just that little like side view. That is super cute. Can you see it sitting on your shelf somewhere? I know you can. Um, okay. I want to I think I still want to add a little bit of whimsy to the front of this somehow. Let me see if I can. Okay, so what I did was I just squirted some, wa some white paint into that leftover teal. And I have this little dauber daughter thing from the Dollar Tree. And I think I'm just going to give it some dots like this. What do you guys think? Yes? All over maybe? I, I just, it needs something else here back here, like a pattern 
that is not too crazy. And I'm gonna kind of make sure that it looks painted and not spongy. But when you kind of, when you daub it on and you kind of give it like a little wiggle, it kind of helps fill the space a little bit. I'm gonna give it that little extra. And I'm kind of like working on it at an angle, just filling in like where the dots and stuff go. What do you think? Yay, nay? Look at it now. How cute is this? Um, it was just an idea I had when I was pulling out stuff and I bought this little dauber from the Dollar Tree and I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. And then when I saw it tonight as I was pulling out paints and stuff, I thought, tonight I'm going to polka dot it. I'm gonna make something polka dotty. Um, Cause it's fun, right? And they're just like no rhyme or reason on that, but it would still look really cute with a white, like a bright white vinyl decal, like with our name on it, or um, I just smeared it right there. You see that? Um, let me see if I can fix that. But it would look really cute with a, um, maybe like happy camper decal. I actually have a happy camper um, SVG cut file. That's a file that you use for your, um, like silhouette cutting machine, your Cricut machine, if you guys have one of those, and you can use it for, I made a t-shirt with it. It says Happy Camper, and it has like a cute little camper with the sunshine coming up. Um, that was like the very first time I ever went camping. I made a shirt for it, so that's another good reason why you should use that machine, just saying. But yes, Stephanie, I said, I see you promised you were going to write, write me, and I will help you. I will definitely help you, or at least try to answer any questions you have. Um, and I have a couple different like setting up resources on craftinglifemom.com with some videos for each one for Cricut and Silhouette. So I might direct you there um, to kind of get started. But I'm totally happy to help if you have like a bug that you run into and you're like, I don't know, I just can't get it. Because I love using that thing and I think everyone should just have a Silhouette or a Cricut like they have a microwave. That's just my personal opinion about it. All right, so now I'm gonna add this Mod Podge glue. You can use any kind of adhesive. I just like to use this when I'm doing scrapbook paper. I'm just adding it to the strip of paper that I use. Now I, like I said earlier, I didn't, this is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, and all I did was just match it to meet, um, let's see how I wanna lay it. I think this way, I like the design. So I just trimmed it to kind of be the same width as the camper top here, like this. And now I'm just gonna try and lay it on smooth and straight, hopefully. It's gonna be kind of hard, but let me kind of, oh, let me make sure it's straight. There we go, that's a little bit better. Okay, now what do you guys think? Do you think I should Add more floral to the piece there that's kind of like not, that's a little sideways. Let me fix that. Add it more floral or maybe do a different paper. I was kind of, oh, I just ripped it. I was kind of thinking a different paper. I don't know, what do you guys think? Did you see that? I just ripped, let me show you what I just said. You see that little rip? It's fine. Don't worry about it, guys. You're not gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. You might know, because you watched the video, but it's gonna be fine. It's part of the craft process, see? Okay, all right, so let's see. I told you I had this metal looking, like galvanized metal, I guess it's galvanized. It kind of looks splotchy or whatever. I could use that in the front. Or I could put it back here, like it's kind of like a, um, kind of like a, but it, you know what I'm talking about, with campers that have like, from what I noticed anyway from our camping trip, I'm just trying to get this straight. Um, they had like that cute little section that was a different color. And they have like a logo on it or the name brand of the camper, kind of like the back of a car. You guys know what I'm talking about, I know. 
I just want to make sure I'm nice and smooth here. There's a little bump right there, but that's okay. We're not going to worry about it. And I'm just going to add a little bit of Mod Podge on my little tear just to kind of keep this place in place. Okay. So I could totally do this metal look back here, but I'm not so sure. I don't know. I'm not so sure I'm digging it. Maybe I'll just do some more floral. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comment. More floral or, oops, sorry, more floral or more metal. Um, what do you think? Hmm. Do you think I should do, I keep getting these little notifications and I'm sorry. Hi, Carolyn, how are you? I miss you. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for stopping by. Um, let's see here. I think I'm gonna go with the floral again. Yes, floral or, floral or no floral? That is the question. Maybe I will go with the floral just to kind of help conceal my little mishap I had right there. You guys know what I'm talking about? Oh, no. Okay, let's see. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to line it up on the edge like that and draw a line with my pen to help it. What do you think? Floral, floral's the consensus? I think so too. Okay, so now I love this paper. I'm definitely gonna have to go find more. It was like four for a dollar, so it was like a quarter for a sheet. Um, and this paper is super gorgeous, guys. I just love it so much. Okay, so I'm just cutting. I didn't even like hardly measure. It's probably not perfectly straight, which is probably why my other paper kind of went on crooked. But no worries, you know, it's, it's a cute little thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just kind of overlap there my project and I'm going to try and match it a little bit to the flower. So we're like that. What do you think? Um, might need to be. And this time around, last time I painted the paper and I think this time what I'm going to do is paint my actual piece here, not paint, I'm going to um, put the glue on the actual camper thing. And you guys, if you're just joining me, this is a little camper, a wooden, um, it's a wooden birdhouse that I found on clearance at Michael's. And it was normally like $15, I found it, it was like less than four with the clearance price once it came up at the register. And I just thought, how cute is this thing to make as a home decor piece? Now it's originally supposed to be a birdhouse, but what I decided to do was I cut the little uh, string off here that you hang it on and I um, am turning it into like a shelf sitting thing that just kind of looks cute and pretty and a little bit of whimsy on the shelf. Um, so there's that. Okay, so now what I like to do when I Mod Podge, especially on scrapbook paper, is just run a thin coat layer of the Mod Podge on the paper and it just kind of seals it on it all in place. Plus it preserves it a little bit better and it um, gives it a little bit of a shine. So I do like to have that. This is turning out super cute. It's gonna look really cute on the shelf. Um, you guys will have to tell me what you think. So, all right, there we go. There it is so far. So it looks like this, not that great, right? But then when it's angled, look how cute this is. Okay, so now we kind of need to like dress up the front. Should I polka dot the front too to match? Can you guys tell me, polka dot the front? I do have an idea of, I have some cute little um, buttony things. These are kind of beachy in here, but they're a little glammy. Let's see, what do I have? I have, like, I don't know if I can show this. You see that? It's like a little, this one's like a corally 
like a goldy corally color. I thought this would be cute to kind of cover the, can you see that? The door where I cut the little wooden perch off, you know, for the bird. I, it's flown away somewhere now. I don't know where it went. Um, but I have something like that. Or I have these other cute little buttons. Um, I have flowers like this, little sunflowers. What do you think? Should I do, somebody tell me, a pink one, just like, that's a hot pink one on the purple with some polka dots or no? What do you guys think? Is it like a little too girly this way? And maybe need to give it some bling, Janice. Are you still here? Give it some bling, bling. I got a little bling. I could totally do, or I could do like a big wooden one to kind of tie in. That's kind of cute. I could cover, oh, okay, I could cover the little window with that one and then maybe add a little handle to it with another smaller button. Maybe we'll do that. This button has some cute little um, detailing on it, some little wooden flowers. So I can do that. Let me break out the glue gun. I hope that the battery's charged. I'm gonna get that started. And while that warms up, I think what we will do is I'm going to try, this is, might be hard. I'm going to try and cut out a piece of this metal paper and see if I can't somehow get it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. So look what I just did there. I put a, I had a little bit of glue on there already, but I just put that paper through the little wooden dowel. And you see how it's like that on the end. So what I'm going to do is now that I have it kind of like so, I'm gonna um, cut it so that I can make the paper shape. And it's okay if it's not like 100% to the shape because I can fold it over with the Mod Podge. You guys know what I'm talking about? And, whoop. all right, so look how cute that's gonna be. A little more detail there. Might be a little busy at that section, but I think it's gonna be okay. Um, all right, somebody said a hot pink button, I think is what I see. So let me go ahead and glue my little metal paper here. And my paint is still kind of drying overall on this, but overall it's, you know, dry enough to work with it a little bit. Glue gun is still heating up. Let's see, okay. Now once I have it like this, I'm just gonna press the paper all down and around, um, kind of like so, just to kind of set it in place. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit on top of the paper. Especially in the crack where it kind of meets the other paper and then just brush it down out of place, or like smooth it down, if you will, like that. And when, I know I have it on my finger a little bit, and I know you probably don't like that, but that's gonna help smooth down the paper edge right there. So, see? What do we think, how cute. So should I do some polka dots on the front, or? I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and glue the big button to cover my window hole. Oh, my glue gun is not ready. I might need to change the uh, battery. We'll see, I'm gonna leave that on. And I can add um, a little bit of raffia at the top. Now we're getting into the fun part of this, which is kind of the end, but you know. I like this kind of stuff. Um, I just kind of have like a piece of this, like, I don't know, 
you know, just kind of like cut a piece of it. It's kind of all whatever. And I'm just gonna twist it like that. And it kind of, it's, well, this side is kind of loopy and that side's kind of not, but it kind of makes like a little bow-like thing. And I might just put that at the top of the door. So I'm gonna leave, oh, I have the little, the twine that I cut off. So I could tie it together with that piece of twine and that helps to keep it in place. What do you think of that? Uh, it's okay. I'm not sure I'm a fan of that, but I'm gonna go ahead and work with it anyway. And just get that cut right there. All right, so let me see. How's everybody doing? Okay, so the hot pink button. Let's see if the glue, the glue is not working. Okay, so this is that Ryobi glue gun that I use just about every time. It's like the battery that your husband can use with his tools. Absolutely love it, but you have to make sure that you have it um, charged because if you don't, you're really, sorry to have my butt up in the air. You'll be like me where you have to bend over and get that thing. So let's see if this one hopefully keeps the charge going. I'm gonna put the raffia back, raffia, whatever you call it. And let's see, so like I have like a bunch of little random things in these drawers and different kinds of ribbon. I have this bright orange. Um, oh, that might be a cute little color touch to it, kind of colorful, or it could stay kind of to the calmer tones. I'm not really sure, but um, I'm really digging how it's turning out. I think it's super adorable. And let's see, I have my little dauber here with the polka dots. Do you guys think I should do polka dots or no? Yes, no? On the front side, I think it might be okay. Or I have an idea. I know I could um, give it a little bit of accent with like another paintbrush. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. Give some, um, like some whitewashing here and there just to kind of help it have more than just that like, oh, she painted it, look. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like that little bit of rustic, like highlight, I don't know. I think that might make some sense there. Put some here by the window. Maybe this window. There. I just think that adds something a little bit better to it. You see how I kind of added just a little bit of highlight. I, I know that might, you know, that could even look like snow um, now that I'm looking at it, but I don't think it's going to be too crazy. All right, so let's see if this is ready now. I'm going to add, there it goes this big button to cover the um, the bird hole that I have here. And, oops, see, I just put a little bit of glue. Let me straighten it up. Make sure I have enough, it's not really. But now it's kind of covering, I'm gonna add a little bit more because it's lifting a little bit on that one edge. So, to get it close to the edge. Ooh, just not my finger. There we go. And then um, I think what I'm gonna do is a little pink one, like you guys suggested, to kind of give it a little cute factor and cover up the little rough spot of where the little bird perch was. And then finish it off. Let me just press that down in there. Finish it off with this little raffia bow. This little, you know, basically it's not really a bow. I just kind of tied some loose edges together there. And I have, I'm not so sure I want the sunflower. But I have another button in here that has like a little shine to it. 
That might be a cute little topper center to this bow. Yeah, there we go. All right, so I think for now, let me pull my glue gun strings out of here and I'll show it to you guys. Super cute. This is so adorable. Look how cute this is. Isn't that cute? And the back has a little polka dots in it. Sorry, I got another. But so what we did was we painted both sides the teal and then I added the paper. And I mean, some of my paint could probably stand to have a little touching up. Um, but what do you guys think? Would you put this on a little shelf? Like, let me back up a little bit. Isn't that cute? I just think that is so adorable. I love the way that this turned out. Um, especially if you've just joined, my family just went camping. It's kind of hot in here. And um, I just thought this would be super cute to kind of make um, now that we're back home. And it just, I don't know, it just kind of reminds me, even though I didn't get it there, it just kind of reminds me of my time and my memories that I made this past week with my family camping. So yeah. Look how cute, what do you guys think? Do you love it? Would you make one of these? Or would you put one on your shelf? Maybe? I don't know. Anyway, I think it's super cute and I think it turned out really good. So, um, that's really all I'm gonna do for tonight and I have some other ideas that I'm going to be doing with you guys. I don't know how you guys like the lives, but um, I'm gonna try and be here every Wednesday. So if you like coming and watching, um, crafting and giving some ideas or things that you want to see me make, especially coming into the fall and all the fall things. I'm happy to create those things for you or teach you how to make them. Um, and if you have questions about your silhouette and your Cricut, don't be afraid to reach out to me or send me a message or I'm on Instagram at Crafty Life Mom. Um, follow me over there if you're on Instagram. I love to be on there. I'm on there every single day. I try to do some stories every day, like what's going on with my personal life and things like that. But follow me over there or shoot me a message here, wherever. And I'm happy to help you if you have any questions with any of those things all crafty related. But I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you next week. Um, I have some home decor items that I'm going to be making that you can turn into any any idea that you want. And so I'm going to be sharing that with some free files for you silhouette and cricket silhouette people. Um, or if you can just, I'm going to be offering them or you can um, make your own and I'll show you another way how to do that too. So I will be back next Wednesday. Um, I might pop in some other time live in there, but I'm just trying to get back into the groove of it and do it at least once a week. Um, in the middle of the week because it's when we all have like, you know, the hump over to the weekend. And so I will see you all next time, okay? And I think I'm gonna go take my little camper and put it on a shelf somewhere so I can look at it the rest of this week and just think about being on vacation. All right, guys, talk soon. Bye-bye.